how can USDC or these different exchanges offer such nice interest rates when banks are giving 0.0 oh now they're giving 0.5 but how can they offer you know interest rates from four percent to twelve percent or ten percent yeah that's the first question that you have to answer for my brother yeah so i, I know I, that's I, not you I, I know that's i know that there's different i know there's circle yield so yeah if you're an institutional client or thing you can yeah. go to circle yield which as you said in several interviews it's over collateralized and you should be protected but we'll get right. to that one i just wanted to know like some of these places are 10 percent, 9 percent. voyager blockfi nexo genesis etc sure. yeah i mean look um so if, if you think about it you have a kind of base layer which is the sort of digital cash digital cash equivalent of usdc and and that is this you know always redeemable for a dollar um and, and and it's a regulated you know digital cash instrument um that exists and it's very easy to exchange right to with, with point to point as your friends or, or or others that you've talked to really really straightforward to send it receive it and use it um and it's become very very popular as a digital currency to use in um, trading investing international payments other things and so as its utility has grown and as more and more people and firms want to use it as a as a form of working capital as a new kind of electronic stored value working capital mechanism there's higher and higher demand for people who want to borrow it and so one of the really powerful things about blockchains is not only do they allow these fast transactions to happen but you can actually build um you know essentially you know borrowing and lending models on top of it and so there's grown over the past in particular the past several years last two to three years large both centralized what are often called cfi lending markets and what are called defi lending markets where the market of borrowers and lenders is convened by a piece of software on the internet so you're not dealing with a company, you're just dealing with a protocol. But nonetheless, you have essentially interest rate markets of borrowers and lenders. Um, and the demand to borrow USDC is high. And the interest rate that borrowers are willing to pay is is high. Um, and that is the source of those yields. Basically, you have borrowers and, and to put it fairly simply, um, the, the the other side of of that borrowing um and, and i'll use circle yield as an example because it's it's the one i understand probably the most um you lend us usdc and we lend it wholesale to institutional borrowers so these are in fact hedge funds family offices systemic trading firms electronic markets firms or you know other major firms in the ecosystem that want to operate using usdc and these are firms that are borrowing at a high interest rate but who are generating returns north of that so it, you know a a, a a an eight percent interest rate to, to borrow at an eight percent interest rate or borrow at a ten percent interest rate that's not unheard of in a lot of things our credit cards are 20 percent interest rates or 17 percent interest rates you know venture debt which is what startups borrow typically have interest rates of, you know, 10, 12, 13, 14% on them. Um, interest rates in securities lending markets, which is the interest rates that um, say uh, 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 an institutional fund would, would pay to borrow against their stock can be fairly high. Now, you know, corporate debt uh, that's underwritten where a corporation's borrowing against their, their, their balance sheet and their P and L that's underwritten by an investment bank and has a coupon and a rating and so on. That tends to be a lower interest rate kind of debt product. Right. But generally when you look at interest rates that people borrow, they, they, they vary from, you know, uh, you know, low single digits to high double digits or, or higher. And so what you have in, in USDC is you have a, a borrowing and lending markets that exist. At, at the retail and institutional level. And those are those are floating um, right now. So on DeFi right now, you can borrow, uh, you can borrow USDC, uh, I think for like 3%. Um, uh, so, you know, the, 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 interest, the interest rate markets adapt to kind of market conditions and demand. Yep. And you could, I mean, you could, and then you could, you could 
you could borrow, but then you can earn interest at a longer term. You can lock in six months, 12 months, um, right? That's right. That's so right. How can they lock that in if they don't know if the borrower is it the borrow is the borrower borrowing short term or are they borrowing a long term when you lock in for six 12 months yeah. on on circle yield i'm referring to yeah so, so with, with with circle yield if you if you um if you want to uh, effectively um lend uh for six months or, and and get a, a a fixed rate uh a fixed rate and a fixed return over that time that's exactly right the that capital is then being utilized downstream by borrowers for longer periods of time okay. um, so they have o effectively oftentimes they'll have like uh the, the equivalent of like an open credit facility uh that they're utilizing uh in their own business and that credit facility has a term on it and a time frame on it and the like